Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about something called the atomic spectra. So, this atomic spectra was discovered by a Danish scientist called Niels Bohr in the year 1913. And for this discovery, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1922. So, what's the atomic spectra? First, we have a mass of very closely bound atoms like solids, liquids, or compressed gases. are heated, they glimmer. So when they glimmer, they produce light. And this light is examined by a spectroscope. And the spectroscope is a machine for light analysis. It appears that this light consists of a group of spectral lines with no spaces or separation between them. And accordingly, this proves that this glimmering produces a continuous spectra. But if gases are heated under a reduced pressure, and then the glimmering of these gases was uh, examined by the spectroscope, it was seen that it consists of a limited number of colors. So this limited number of colors deviates at um, certain angles and this is called the atomic spectra. This atomic spectra differs from an element to another so that uh, there aren't any two elements have the same atomic spectra. So it resembles the fingerprint. That's why the atomic spectra is considered the key or the answer to the atomic uh, structure because every single element has its own atomic spectra. When the sunlight was examined under the spectroscope, it was discovered that helium and hydrogen are the main constituents of the uh, Sun. Also, by the uh, study of the hydrogen atom structure by using the atomic spectra, the scientist Niels Bohr was able to reach to um, making his atomic model. So what did Niels Bohr do or make in his atomic model? What did he take from the atomic model of Rutherford? What were the contradictions with Rutherford's atomic model? That's what we'll know in the next time. So until then, I thank you for watching and see you.